check out this old Chevy y'all it's a two-door post coupe I'll have to see what year it is in a minute but Mrs. P.I.B. noticed this ain't that neat I don't know how you say that Eric Steen Chevrolet Company Wolf Point Montana boy this is a neat car try to stand back so you can see the whole thing got some regular wheels makes me wish I'd have kept my regular wheels oh my goodness the insides of this car are really really nice that console at all looks really good AC car uh, LS53460 uh, let's see AC Mustang 2 10 bolt I don't see where it says a price of this of this body style Chevrolet uh, of this body style I like this the best because I like to turn signals up here in later years they put them down here I think this is might be a 49 if I'm wrong somebody tell me in the comments I like that little piece right there I was gonna see if it had a no it don't somebody's done a lot of work to this car it's got perfect patina this one says barn finder hold back of the truck has... this one does yeah. 74 k10 mild built 350 4x4 four four. barn fine Okay, let's look at some for sale or trade. Not sure what that is. Looks like it's got a cowhide dash. That's all wood. 70 Chevelle. 454. 400 turbo, pin boat, power disc brakes, vintage AC, cash only, 50,000. 50,000. Fifty thousand. Here's another 70 Chevelle. Muncie four speed air conditioning, power. Steering, four-wheel disc brakes, cash only, fifty thousand. Boy, I was just telling my wife I wish I'd have kept my '71 Super Sport. Those days are all gone. Hey, it's four-speed. Well, yeah, I just read it to you. Huh? Yeah, yeah. For for. Yeah, 70s, 70s only one had that rubber SS. Yeah, you've seen it. You just don't remember it. Watch this for a hole. Getting down here where it's starting to get kind of crowded. Here's another four wheel drive. Been hauling with it. Boy. Eighty six three fifty runs and drives all original. Title in hand nine thousand or trade. See what I mean about prices? Hey guys, here's what people need to be getting is these right here, these OBS trucks. 
94 model southern truck no rust ever 17.5 while you can still get them and be able to afford them this one is exceptionally nice Mrs. PIB says I need to hurry it up on my videos another 67 Chevelle Super Sport that looks like it's in the right place four speed big block 39,000 power steering power brakes vintage air I'll let y'all look at the video you can stop it and read all, everything about it I guess my battery is starting to get low on my phone 70 Chevelle uh, 70 C10 factory big block Power steering, power brakes. It's a nice truck. Hey, it's got those beauty rings like I have with the Chevy bow tie. I just can't remember where I got them beauty rings at. Another OBS truck. Long bed, this looks good. Really nice truck, 91, 350, $700. Call Joe. This is my cup of tea right here, patina style. GMC, let's see, got the bumper guards on it. I love bumper guards, I don't know why, but I do. They've clear coated it, it's got real good patina on it. 350 factory air works, trades up or down, asking 18. It's a good looking truck. Here's another, now this is a 1960 Impala. First, I uh, say, no. 348 that was the big block the biggest motor you could get in 1960 was a 348 three two barrels four speed 55,000 may trade it's a beautiful car hey got the plastic on the seats there's my favorite steering wheel it's a beautiful car can't even find these anymore but see this is where i was talking about see it's got six tail lights the others i showed you had four and this has got the bumper guards on it too another chevy truck I'm trying to hurry it up i get long-winded i apologize four sale 69 c10 327 oh my goodness uh 18 pop. Good looking truck. Sixty-six Chevelle Malibu setting up high. It's the way they used to do them back in the day. Aftermarket AC, it's got all the paperwork. Hey, that is this place was bought at the same place that GM 1038's Chevy truck I've showed you in a couple of videos. Reader Motor Company, Oak Ridge, Tennessee. That's the same place uh, Brian, his truck came from, Reader, Oak Ridge. I call it Knoxville, but Oak Ridge. I remember seeing the commercials. This was bought at Reader, same place Brian's truck was. It's a beautiful car. Guys, I'm looking at this 68 Camaro. I'm gonna go real quick. My battery's going dead. 55,496. Beautiful black car. Little Nova here with those little dog dish hubcaps. Looks like it might have had a vinyl roof because it's got this trim. But I'm not for sure. It's got a cow hood. 
71 Nova. There's a long bed Chevy truck. Some of these, like I said, are not for sale. Oh, yeah. That's where all my folks are from, is Gadsden, Albertville, Boaz area, Gunnersville. This one's not for sale. It is for sale? Oh, I didn't look inside. No, I was just telling about it. Some Make of offer. Best cash by Saturday night. Oh, okay. Truck's been parked last four years. Sometimes if you look around trucks, you see people has, has stuff for sale in the back. So, But I haven't been lucky yet. Bunch of Camaros down through here. We're going to cross over here in just a minute. We have actually walked a long way. Another 69 Camaro. 67 Camaro. That's like what Mrs. P.I.B. and I had. A, a supposed to be factory black with red insides. 68 Camaro with the hideaways. I always like the hideaways too. There's a patina style Camaro. Look at this little Chevy truck. Got an Alabama plate on it. Automatic with tilt. Hey, that sounds good. Brian was telling me yesterday that I need to, on my 1979 Chevy truck, Ruby, that I need to lower it down lower. So, might have to do that. It's got a big old V8 in it, doesn't it? 54. GTO 6.2 six speed automatic cold air. Hmm, doesn't say how much it is. Yeah, that truck has been chopped. My wife likes this GMC. It says uh, last ride. I guess that is your last ride if you. I'm just going to go through here real quick. My battery is just about dead. I've got a brand new phone here and didn't last no time. That's the kind of car that uh, Cold War Motors is working on. If you ever keep watch him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're driving back up a week. Yeah. Oh, that's a neat truck. Yeah. Kind of unique, isn't it? I don't know what year this is. Might be a 62, 3. Can't say that I've ever seen this before. It's from Oklahoma. People come from all over the place to come to the rod run here. Pigeon Forge. Trying to get out of this guy's way. Pretty neat. Hang on. Guys, you remember last month when I was talking to you in March about how people steal cars and trucks. I, I see a lot of that Monte Carlo, I know you can't see it, but it is chained to the to the power pole. You have to be careful. And I've noticed a lot of vehicles, people are locking their doors. This one is open, but I mean, a lot of people lock their doors now. And it's, I mean, it didn't used to be that way here, but people will steal what you brought up so you got to be extra careful there's a nice 57 
Hey guys, this truck reminds me of left turn bill, I guess because of the hubcaps. 79 C10, 5,000 or best offer. 250, 350 trends, it's got a six cylinder. It reminds me of a whole lot of left turn bill. My 84 Chevy truck. I guess they got the gas can here. Wish my bed was as nice as this one. Yeah, it reminds me of left turn bill a lot. Oh, it's okay. Anyway, maybe if you're not familiar with left turn bill, let's go back several videos. I just bought it here, here a while back recently. There's some 15 by 10s on this C10 truck. Three fifty, three fifty trans, new cow hood, fender, seat, tires, wheels, carpet, sale or trade. I don't know. Pretty cool old truck. We're still walking. Hang on. Got to show you this, guys. Mrs. P.I.B. noticed all this. Congratulations. <laughs> she noticed they riveted all this. I've never seen that done. It's homemade side trim. Homemade side trim, she said. This is like a 71, 72, I'm not sure. But uh, I've never seen that kind of side trim before. Something to think about. I'll never do it, but I admire somebody that did. See you in a bit.